the 14 year old Lev Grinberg who as I say is a member here at Rinkven plays off a handicap of plus 3.7 so he's a more than decent player and I love that his career goal is to make the Ryder Cup team he showed a lot of passion out there hasn't he been a lot of fun to watch and this was the 10th hole, it was his first hole yesterday, missed it left, but look at the quality of this shot, landing it just in the fringe, letting it release to the hole, and no, inches short of going in, superb chip. Yeah, it gave him a lot of confidence to the next, the 11th, which is a drivable hole, or it was yesterday, that's for a verdict, one under through the first two. On to the 17th, the par 5, his 8th hole. Look at this, going in at pace. That's a good man's putting strong. Gives it the fist bump as well. He was right into it. So around the turn, and you would think he'd start to get nervous now, but none of that. A birdie at the first, which was his tenth hole. And he's really cooking at that point. He was, he part the second. This was at the third, hit another good little wedge in here. Punch in the air to with delight. Truly exciting stuff. On to the fifth. The only other par five on the course here, his 14th hole. Lovely touch, saw plenty of that, didn't they? Around the greens, that would lead to another birdie. And just to tidy off what has been an amazing first 36 holes. The second youngest player ever, ever, to make the halfway cut on a DP World Tour event. Lev, thanks for joining us. I can only imagine as a 14-year-old how it feels to make a cut in a DP World Tour event and play in front of your home club fans and receive that sort of support. Just describe the experience for us. The experience was good, especially like my second day. I got in the round, I played really, really well. My chipping, my short game was really good. And yeah, I would like to thank everybody for the support, especially people I know and just everywhere else in general. Now that you've played alongside these guys mm -hmm. in competition, where do you think your game measures up? Where is it good enough? Where does it need to improve? I think definitely I need to improve my irons this week. Usually it's not that bad, but this week was just not good. And like, I have to learn how to deal under pressure as well, a bit better. And just, yeah, just, yeah, this all part of the learning experience. Just this is, it was nice to play this event, but it's like just a learning step forward. Yeah. What is the long-term plan for you? Presumably you want to ultimately become a touring professional. Yeah. I would like to win every major in the FedEx Cup, the minimum. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Those are big ambitions. Thank you. What about, you've been signing autographs this week, how have you found the adulation of the fans? Because everybody's been behind you and supporting you so much. Yeah, it was nice, I like to sign. And it's the first time I ever signed, so I have to practice a bit of my autograph and hopefully do the best um, next in two weeks. I'm playing the Dutch Open as well. Many, many congratulations. We look forward to watching you in the Dutch. Thank, Thank you, you very much. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.